This video is about basic concepts of units and metric systems involved. Uh, it will be relatively short videos compared to others, so um, yeah, have fun. Uh, it does not touch heavily upon units conversion, so please go to the other video if you're looking for unit conversion and such. Okay, okay so first, what is units? We all know what unit is, like meters, feet, yard, etc. But what is the actual like definition of units? So a unit is any standard used for making comparison and measurements. So you can think of unit as a tool for measuring something, and other people can agree with your tool or like measurement without confusion. So there are two common metric systems in America, metric system and English system. So English system is inch, pounds, ounces that you can see in supermarket or such. And metric system is more widely used outside the United States, which is meters, grams, and liters. If you go to other countries and ask what inches is, they probably won't know because it's English system and like only like America uses it, I think. Uh, so now the international system of units is the one that all nations have agreed upon so these are based upon the metric systems so they're very similar like uh, meters and such and the ones we should definitely focus on in chemistry course is length mass time temperature and mole which is meters kilogram second kelvin and mole uh, and other two shows up on physics and rarely in chemistry so you probably don't have to worry about that that much for now and also you should know that Calvin is 273 degrees plus Celsius degrees uh, you sh you're gonna learn learn more about that later okay very easy okay so there are multiple prefix multipliers uh, that we need to know for chemistry you probably know about how like kilo kilometer is 100 meters and such and I have no better explanation other than just to memorize these values like micrometer is 10 to the negative 6 power meters and such so, but what I can tell you is that what is most likely to be used in chemistry course and what you should definitely memorize so ones that will that we should memorize are kilo, uh, deci, centi, milli, micro, and nano. These six uh, multipliers are widely used outside of chemi chemistry, such as physics, to physics two, uh, and it is important to memorize these values just for many lab sciences course. Uh, you may also encounter pico sometimes, so it might be safer safer to memorize that value as well. So, in chemistry or any other sciences, we're able to multiply and divide to get multiply and divide units to get new ones that are more widely used. Uh, so. The one that is like the trickiest and confuse the students often is the relationship between centimeter cube and milliliter. So it is important to know that centi one centimeter cube equals one milliliter and one meter cube does not equal to one liter. So there may be questions where we need to like convert from meter cube to liter or vice versa and we have to we have to be careful that they're not e one mil one meter cube does not equal one liter. So if we do calculation, one meter cube equal so one meter is hundred centimeter, so it's hundred centimeter cube. And if we do those calculation, we're gonna get uh, one million one million centimeter cube, which is equal to one million milliliter. And if we convert that convert that to one thousand, I mean, if we convert that to liter by dividing by one thousand, we're gonna get one thousand liter. So we have to be careful about 
those calculations. And there are also other units like newtons being kilogram times meter divided by a second square and joules equal kilogram times meter square over a second square and watt being joule over second or equal to kilogram times meter square over a second cube. And these values, you're going to see it more. These, these units are more often visible and more important to know in physics course, but it will be helpful to know these values in chemistry as well. Uh, the one, it will be very helpful for chemistry as joules since we're going to touch upon like thermodynamics and such. So joules is important unit. And so these are helpful because like, if you do not know how to solve a question at all, you can try to use the units to figure out whether to multiply or divide to get whatever value that like multiple choice of multiple, que multiple question, multiple choice question wants. So it can be helpful for minimizing your guessing answer choices and such. So that's it for today. See you later. Bye-bye.